actually got them to keep their shades on for more than 10 seconds. You know how hard it is to get a toddler to keep shades on their face for more than three seconds? It's super hard. It is eerily quiet out here. Very, very quiet for a Monday morning at 9.25 a.m. Should be definitely more buzzing, but you already know why it isn't. Very eerie out here. Very eerie. Out here working on my farmer's tan, you know me? Gotta get it in. Gotta get it in until they say we can't get it in anymore. When I mean, we can't come out on the streets, if that ends up happening in every state, it's gonna be fucked up. So, uh, we've been walking every day since January 1st. My anxiety was kicked up so high after the last like bout of touring last year that I had no ex like no excuse but to get out and walk. I read that if you do like two 10 minute walks like fast a day, you can lo lower your blood pressure. And I needed to lower my blood pressure a lot because I was feeling crazy. So um, yeah, we've been walking every day since then. Plan to keep walking every day until if, if and when we can't, we can't. But for now, we out here. All right, Corbin, you're officially the coolest kid on the block. Calvin is not about this shade life, but you have kept your shades on see? the whole ride. See? Yeah, you wanna see? Look, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, you look cool, look at you. It's your sunblock forehead. Hi. And your shades. Nah, you can't hold the camera. You're not ready for that yet. Say bye. Bye. I just sneezed walking down the block and I feel like everybody that was in earshot right now stopped in their tracks and looked at me like I was the ill leper. It was... Dramatic. One hundred and twenty-five shows last year. That's how many shows we did. And while we were doing those one hundred and twenty-five shows last year, chaos was building up, brewing up behind this door right here. This is my home studio. I've worked in it for the many years that we've been in here and it's kind of changed around a little bit here and there but for the last like year or so it's just been chaos every little piece of like something I picked up on the road or if you guys gave me something on the road it piled up in here in a very disorganized chaotic fashion gear that I bought everything piled up behind this room right here so it's taken me since like November focused as many free moments as I could get away from raising two two-year-olds to get it to where I, it needs to be. And I think last night, as of last night, we're finally where we need to be on the fucking workstation. Yep, so there it is. I took out the old desk I had in here and replaced it with this new black joint. It's very similar, but it has racks now, so I can rack up the gear, um, which is clutch. It also saves some space. Um, and then I got this six-tier keyboard stand from Jaspers um, in Germany. You have to fucking go to Germany if you want to get a decent keyboard stand that doesn't take up a lot of space off the wall and also like, can, can hold all these keyboards as well so um, that's a six tier keyboard stand from Jaspers 
I still got um, the same um, IKEA bookshelf with records and the turntables up top. Put a couple of cents up there. Got the grandmother over there as well, which I don't know if that's the last place I'm gonna have it, but right now it's just it's to get it off the to get it off the floor. Basically, um, I had to like just rig it up over there. And then I got this from Jasper's as well. I got this six tier um, equipment rack for the beat machines. Um, so I got that there. And I got this monstrosity of a file cabinet that goes nowhere else in this house. And then here comes one of the problems that I'm still facing. I got too much vinyl for the space. There's nowhere right now I could put the rest of this vinyl. So it's just going to have to be me hopping over this to get into the booth. And the booth is still kind of a hot mess. But it's functional now where I can actually use the keyboard and mouse in front of me before all last year I had nothing there for a keyboard and mouse so I was using the screen that was like hanging off a hanging off a box basically and then I would turn around to this little uh, stack of records here and I would put one hand on the mouse one hand on a keyboard over there and it was very awkward and uncomfortable but I got it kind of organized and clean now where I can kind of step in here and not like bust my ass and then I can also just record from there and and get to work so it's it's functional They started off with a phone call from Kansas City from Strange Music saying that Kansas City as of 9 p.m. tonight is under lockdown for 30 days. And I was scheduled to fly there in approximately 12 days. So um, that trip is canceled. And that trip was going to be for shooting two music videos. One uh, for Low Water off the first EP and then one for a track off the second EP. So that sucks. Um, obviously, I wasn't really amped about getting on a plane anyway, but I do want to shoot these videos really bad for this project. So not doing that kind of kills the kills the vibe of the promotion on the music, but it is what it is. We're living in new times anyway, so hopefully Spotify and streaming networks putting it in your pocket, you're not really having to see a video to get hype off listening to the shit anyway. But I still think there are people out there that don't really like check the project until they see the visual. So the first song, Low Water, off this EP, I'm going to have to like postpone the video. And then the second song off, or first second track off the next EP was going to be what I shoot the other video for on that same trip. So right now, those two videos, I don't, they're up in the air. So I got to improvise and figure something else out. Maybe do like a video from home or an animated video or something. We got to figure something out because I want to do some visuals. Regardless, in the end, the videos are going to get done. But right now, I can't fly to Kansas City. They can't, even if I got to, even if I walked to Kansas City, they couldn't do a video with me anyway. Uh, can't even, they're not really supposed to be on the street, not supposed to be working. So, yeah. Uh, so that is what it is. So, if you guys got any good video ideas or know any good animators, holler at your boy.